It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well, both you and your pet. In today's video we will talk about the following. Blood types in dogs, blood donation in dogs, let's find out now. Is there really a blood transfusion for dogs? Yes, dogs can receive blood transfusions from another healthy dog to help them recover. Here we will talk about the blood types of dogs, how transfusions work and blood donations in dogs. 1. Do dogs have different blood types? They yes. In fact, more than a dozen different dog blood types have been found so far, and more types will likely turn up with more research. Blood types in dogs are genetic with complex patterns of inheritance. Each blood group is inherited independently, meaning a dog can have any combination of the 12 plus blood groups. This creates variability in which blood types are more common based on geographic area and race. 2. What is the best blood type for dog blood donations? Dogs that are negative for DEA1 are preferred for donating blood because their blood can be safely transferred to dogs that are negative or positive for DEA1.1 or DEA1.2. However, DEA1 negative dogs are not really universal donors because a dog may be positive for another blood type that could cause a problem. So that there isn't a serious immune reaction to either of a donor dog's blood types, the vet will perform another test called a cross match. This test checks the general compatibility of the blood of the donor and the recipient. After confirming the DEA1 blood type and cross-matching, a veterinarian can usually determine which blood type will be the most successful for the dog receiving the transfusion. 3. What other qualifications do dogs that donate blood have? While in a true emergency, in theory, any dog could donate blood, some dogs are better blood donors. We already know that vets prefer a DEA1 negative blood type, but there are a few more qualifications they look for. The ideal dog to donate blood should Weighing more than 50 pounds, and at a healthy weight for their size, larger dogs can donate a larger volume of blood more easily and more frequently than smaller dogs. Up to date with his vaccinations. Healthy, no heart murmur. With no medication. Free of infectious diseases, parasites, and bloodborne diseases. Quiet, able to sit quietly for 10 to 15 minutes while blood is drawn. DEA1 negative. If the DEA1 blood type is a match and no immune response is seen with cross-matching, then it is safe to proceed with the dog's blood transfusion. 4. What health problems in a dog require a blood transfusion? A dog may need a blood transfusion to replace blood after severe blood loss from surgery or trauma. There are also some diseases, for example, Don Willebrand disease, that can cause severe bleeding and blood loss, which can be treated with a blood transfusion. Other diseases damage and destroy blood cells, so a blood transfusion can help replace them and allow the dog to feel better. For dogs with any of these conditions, receiving a blood transfusion from another dog can be life-saving. 5. The process of blood transfusion in the dog. Whether you go to a blood bank or directly to a waiting dog, the blood is collected and stored in special bags that prevent the blood from clotting. When it comes time to give a dog a blood transfusion, these bags are connected to an 4 intravenous fluid line with a special filter built in. The blood transfusion is given directly into the vein through the 4 catheter. The total dose of blood to be transferred is based on the size of the dog and the amount of blood that has been lost. This is given over a specific period of time and the dog is monitored very closely to make sure he is not developing an allergic reaction. For many health problems, a single blood transfusion is all that is needed for the dog to recover. For some conditions where there is blood loss or destruction of blood cells, the dog may need repeated blood transfusions. Fortunately, most dogs never need a blood transfusion, but for those that do, it can be life-saving. Would you like to have more professional information, and especially updated about your dog? Visit the website below in the description of this video. Do not stop subscribing to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.